All right, welcome back to Azam Sharp Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can navigate to a different screen based on a result of a web service or based on some sort of a dynamic action. So in the last of the lectures and video, we discussed at how we can create our login view model, which will be responsible for triggering the authentication using the authentication service. And it actually returns back true or false. And based on the true and false, we either say logged in or we say not logged in. Now, let me go ahead and run the application to show you that how it actually works. And then we're going to talk about that, how we can improve it to be a little bit more closer to the real world experience. Right now, if you log in, it will simply say logged in or not logged in. But in your actual application in real world, you don't really want to do that. You most probably want to go to a different screen when the person is successfully authenticated. So I'm going to go ahead and put anything over here because everything is kind of like uh, authenticated successfully. And if I log in, you can see it simply says logged in. So how can we change that? And how can we go to a separate screen or a separate view? Now you might be thinking that, hold on, there is something called a navigation link or a navigation button, navigation link, and you can use that. But those things, navigation link, navigation button, all that, or basically navigation link these days, they're only going to work when you actually click on them. And we are not really clicking on anything. This is more of a dynamic action. This is based on the is logged in property. And if that property is set to true, then we will be taking on to the next screen. So the question is, how can we do that? The answer is the navigation destination link. So the first thing I'm going to do is going at the top and creating a link. So link, which is of type navigation destination link. Now you have to specify the destination link in this case. What will be the type of destination link? I'm just going to make it simple. And I'm just going to say that the destination link will be type of a view, which will be a text view. But obviously in your application, this can be your home view, your dashboard view, or welcome view, or user view. You know, you get the idea, right? This is your custom view where the user will end up eventually once they are, well, once they're either logged in or some other operation is performed. Right now, we haven't really initialized this in our init. So let's go ahead and do that. Self.link equals to navigation destination link. We're going to pass in something over here. Let's say home. Let's go ahead and check out the parameters that you actually need to pass in. And you'll see that this is a content and you're saying is detail. All right. Um, so I, if I want to pass in a content, I can, I can pass in some sort of a content. So I'm just going to pass in over here text. And I'm just going to go ahead and say home. And I'm not going to do is detail for now, right now. We're just going to check what happens if we don't do detail and what happens if we, we do details and so on. So we got a navigation link now. That's great. Now the question is that how would we present the link? There are multiple ways of doing that. Right inside the button click where we are simply logging in the button, what we're going to do is we're going to set one of the properties of that particular navigation destination link, which is called presented. And we're going to set the value of that to be the self dot login view model dot is logged in property. All right. Now it's logged in is initially false. So this value will be false. But this means that any time this property is actually true, we will be able to present a link. So now let's go ahead and run it and see if this works or not. Go ahead and press the play button so that we get the live view working on. And then we can go ahead and enter something over here and some sort of a password. And I'm going to press the link. Now, when I press this button over here, all of this code is actually going to get fired. And then it's going to set the value of the presented to be is logged in, which is false. But eventually, you know that the is logged in property will be set to true using the web service. And then when it gets set to true, a will change notification gets fired. 
and then we render all of this again, basically everything, the whole body. So let's go ahead and click, click on login. And now you can see that by clicking login, I can actually go to this other page. Great, right? Now what happens if I actually go to my authentication service and I always say that you are not authenticated. So now let's go back over here and resume. And hopefully this time you'll see that we won't be able to go to the separate screen. So if I, whatever username, it doesn't really matter. And now it's actually not going because you're not authenticated. All right. So this is a very simple way of doing authentication and very simple. Obviously our authentication is actually not true at all, but this is a very simple way of going from one screen to the other screen by changing the is presented or the presented value which is part of the navigation destination link. Now the navigation destination link does have a property called is detail, which can be set to true and false, but I'm not really sure what that property is meant to be because I mean, from a point of view, from going to one screen and the other, it works without that also. Um, I mean, you can set this property to is true or is detail to be true or false. I think by default, it might be like false or something but I'm not sure what that actually does. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you ever are looking for a way to programmatically send the user to a destination or a different view based on some action, then check out the navigation destination link and that is going to help you achieve that. If you want to support my work, then the best way would be check out my new course, which is SwiftUI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a seven hour plus course on SwiftUI and I keep on adding new content as I learn new things. You'll see that the course starts with creating list and navigation, grid layout, state management and binding, which is very important, but also dives into the understanding of MVVM design pattern and also web API. So it will show you how you can communicate with a web API, get the data displayed on the screen. It doesn't stop there because it also covers gestures, property wrappers, form, models, and much, much more. So this is the complete course on Swift UI development. Now here's the thing, the link to the course along with the coupon is already in the YouTube description. So please use that coupon to get the best deal possible. Now Udemy is actually changing the pricing scheme in a couple of months. Uh, or in the future. So make sure that you take advantage of this particular uh, deal that I'm doing because I cannot guarantee if this deal is going to last in the future. So maybe next month you come and it will be all gone. All right. So please use the coupons that I have added in the YouTube description. It will really help me and you will get the best deal possible. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you have any questions, please let me know.